Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Z Crafting. My name is Eros and in today's episode we are going to work a little bit on our new and improved, well I guess just totally new, Smoothie Shack. Yes we are. Uh, we also have to name some ostriches, our little triplets that we had, and we might have a little surprise um, over at the fox um, exhibit. I'm not sure if we'll get to that today, but and might involve some baby foxes. So we'll have to see um, how it goes today. But we are gonna make some smoothies. We're gonna make lots and lots of yummy and delicious smoothies today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check our kitchen and see what type of fruit that we have in here. And I know we do have quite a bit of fruit and we're also going to go ahead and collect some of the different types of fruit around our area. It looks like we have a lot of apples. Ooh, we do have a lot of apples. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. And if we do go ahead and check on our foxes, I think we will today. I'm pretty excited. I think you guys know why. Um, we might go ahead and bring our foxes some yummy food so they can eat. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and take some bananas. Uh, let's go ahead and take some blackberries and we can use some of those blackberries to make some smoothies and some of them to give to our foxes. We'll also take some blueberries and some raspberries too. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away in our backpack. So let's go ahead and put some bananas in there, some raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, there we go. And I also wanna take some other ones too. Uh, can we make a lime smoothie? Yeah, we can, awesome. All right, so let's grab some limes and pears apparently there's pear smoothies i wonder if they taste any good and are there avocado smoothies i don't think so but maybe um there's also let's see strawberry ooh strawberry smoothies uh we can go ahead and check up on um our garden too because i know maple has been working really really hard on our garden collecting different fruits and vegetables so let's go ahead and put all this stuff down here uh, we have a carrot up there, probably from our wonderful little um, bunny chestnut from our spring garden. And Forrest, why are you damaged? Why are you damaged, Ford? Forrest? Why? 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 Are you stuck? Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can pick up Forrest. Forrest, what happened to you, buddy? You have full hunger. There you go, honey. Forrest. Oh, poor Forrest. Uh, we also have have to go and check up on our snow chickens so we can go ahead and get some snowballs to make our yummy delicious smoothies and then what else are we gonna need i think just snowballs fruit and a juicer so we go ahead and grab our juicer too before we go so we can go ahead and make our smoothies at our new smoothie shack and let's see rooster or roaster i should say roaster i do want to make i want to make a really really special um like home for roaster pretty soon. Um, so if you guys have any ideas for a chicken who gives me little roses and rose red dye, um, let me know because we're gonna make roaster a nice little place. Um, my original thought was to maybe like make some type of little like rose island like over here where roaster could live or maybe just like um, have the land come out a little bit more this way and get some dirt and like make a little rose place over here, maybe a little rose garden. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. They are totally endless. <laughs> um, and hi, sheepies. How you guys doing today? <gasps> what is that? What is that? That is the most beautiful kitten I've ever seen in my whole entire life. What? 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 Hello? Hello? What are you? What are you? What are you? Why are you so beautiful? An ocelot? <gasps> An ocelot? Oh my goodness! Okay, guys, I did not put that there. I don't know where this came from. I don't know why it has such an amazing skin. But oh my goodness! I want to show you guys again. Um, let's go ahead and go to the Possum Claws Rescue Center, I think. Uh, and go ahead and put this beautiful creature down so we can take a better look at him. I, are there any more? Because I, I did not do that. I don't know where that came from, but I'm really, really excited to have, like, this beautiful ocelot. Like, what? What? How is it so gorgeous? I have never seen an ocelot that looked like that before, but I'm really, really happy that it does. It, it's, it's beautiful. Maybe that's just how ocelots um, look on zoo crafting. I don't think I've ever actually, like, seen, like, a pure ocelot. I always see, um, the, like, the kittens from Mo Creatures. Um, let me go ahead and take this Aussie sign down. 
Um, we don't need that anymore. And then we also have Lemon, our little poison dart frog in here. We have a little Sneaky, our little snake. Maybe we'll make some tiny exhibits for these guys. So they can go ahead and get out of here. And then we still have our goats, which I'll probably move pretty soon to a nice little farming area. And then, do we have any birds in here anymore? I don't think we do. I think, yeah, we took our kiwis out. So we can go ahead and open this up. And then, we, oh, maybe we can actually work on getting some new birds today. Oh, and I have a bunch of kiwi eggs. Actually, I think these kiwi eggs were from Siri. Maybe we can go ahead and take some of those kiwi eggs to see if we can hatch some kiwis in our little um, kiwi exhibit now. Oh my gosh, we have so many, so many different types. Oh my goodness. And these are our special, um, our special eggs that we got from the spring event. Um, our little spring egg hunt. Oh, so fun. A dodo, dodo eggs and dinosaur egg. I think we're going to be working with dinosaurs pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon, I think we need to make some type of dinosaur laboratory and start working on getting some dinosaurs. Oh my goodness, that's going to be so much fun. Uh, but let's go ahead and go in here, and we're going to go ahead and drop off this beautiful creature. Oh my goodness. How did you get so beautiful? How are you you? Like, where did you come from? <gasps> All right. Well, it looks like we're going to make an ocelot exhibit. Um, Hold on, let me go ahead and grab you up really quickly because I'm not sure if you will despawn. I don't know. Um, Let me go ahead and grab a name tag from Lily Kitty if we can afford it. Uh, yes, we can. So let's go ahead and grab this name tag and we can go ahead and name this. I don't know what we're going to name this little ocelot now. I think we'll just um, name this name tag ocelot. Um, and then we can rename this little guy, um, in the future. Did I spell that right? Ocelot. Like Camelot, but an ocelot. Oh my goodness, you were so beautiful. Um, but yeah, maybe it was just a random spawn, or maybe one of the other zoo crafters came to my area and dropped this little ocelot off. I have no idea, but I love it. So whatever happened, thank you. <laughs> thank you, universe, or thank you, fellow zoo crafters. Um, but let's go ahead and place down this ocelot. And name you Ocelot so you do not despawn. And you are so cute. Oh my goodness. He's freaking out. All right. We're going to go ahead. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ocelot. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have to um, make an Ocelot exhibit pretty soon now too. Oh my goodness. Um, I was so excited. Uh, I wonder if we should go take some of these eggs and see if we can hatch any more um, kiwis in here. Let's go ahead and take five. And we'll just do 10% chance to see if any of our kiwis can hatch into our kiwi exhibit. And then, um, but first things first, let's go ahead and get some more fruit, I think. I think we still need some more fruit. So we do have strawberries, too. So many exciting things happening. I have, I have, I died some, guys. I died some, I died off camera a little bit today. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and throw that gravestone over there and nobody's gonna know, uh, what happened. Uh, and there's, there's a cow up there on top of the moon tender, um, Mushroom Craft, Mushroom Cafe, there, there's a cow. Just thought you guys should know. Um, but let's go ahead and grab a little bit more fruit, and we can also grab some fruit from these trees over here. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this, so we can make some coconut smoothies, coconut smoothies, oh my goodness, yummy, delicious coconuts. There we go, awesome. And let's go ahead and grab some snow from our snow chickens too really quickly, because we're going to use all that snow to help us make these yummy and delicious smoothies. And what the heck? Is there a mole under there? There must be a mole under there. That is adorable. Um, let's go ahead and go in here. Oh my goodness, there's so many snow walls. See, this is why we need to make smoothies. I kind of, I went overboard on the snow one day and I made lots of snow chickens. <laughs> I wonder if any other, of the other zoo crafters are still in need of some snow chickens. So if you are a zoo crafter who play on the server and you would like some snow chickens, please let me know and maybe we can do a little exchange. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, um, lots and lots of snowballs. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some of these. Uh, put some of these in there. Uh, let me go ahead and toss some things in here too. Uh, I do have some decoration um, items that we're going to use to help decorate our special um, smoothie station. Let me go ahead and grab the snow, put this in here. If only the snow would stack more than... 16 in a stack. We might actually be able to carry some things more. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. And I think we'll probably have enough snow. Uh, let's just grab some more, because why not? Because we can. Um, but there we go. Awesome. Now we have tons of snow. Oh, gosh. Tons of snow. Uh, snowballs to make some smoothies. Let's go ahead and do this. 
All right, and let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and check our um, our chest and our garden really quickly to see if there's any other fruits that we can use to turn into some smoothies because I'm, I'm feeling smooth today. I want to make some smoothies. Oh my gosh. Turkeys. There's turkeys. Turkeys made a gobble. Fake turkeys made a gobble. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and take a shortcut. Let's go ahead and jump through here. Oh my goodness. And let's go ahead and see if there's any fruits that we can use to make some smoothies. Can we, can we jump? No, we can't jump across that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and break this. No one will know. And then we'll go ahead and put this back. There we go. And oh my goodness, Maple. She's been doing a really good job in this garden, hasn't she? I don't know where she is. Is she up there again? Sometimes she goes and hangs out in that tree. Oh, no, there she is. There's Maple. Oh, and there's Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. Our little mouse. And then there's also Basil. Hi, Basil. Oh, our little mice are leaving the nest. It's so beautiful to see. Uh, let's go ahead and check this chest out over here. Ooh, we do have quite a few strawberries, don't we? Um, so maybe we can take some more of these strawberries. And then pineapple. Are there pineapple smoothies? Maybe. Uh, coconut, fig, grapefruit, apple. Uh, I don't know if there's pineapple. We can go ahead and take it and see if we can make some smoothies out of these pineapples. Uh, so let's grab some of those. And then tomatoes, lettuce, none of these things can make a smoothie. Ooh, it would be funny if there were like carrot smoothies, like little like protein smoothies. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but I think that is all the fruit that we can really take right now. Uh, we do have some of these berry gardens around here. And there's, oh, Maple. Maple's doing such a great job taking care of this garden. Uh, Alright, so now we have tons of fruit. Uh, I also want to name some of our... Um, some of our ostriches today um, and I have some name tags ready for that so let's go ahead and name our ostriches then we can go ahead and see if we can get any more oh my gosh I have more kiwi eggs um, but we can go ahead and see if we can get any more kiwis in our kiwi exhibit and then maybe think about where we want to put this ocelot exhibit because apparently we have this really amazing and beautiful ocelot and I think we will check on our foxes maybe in the next episode um, because there might be a little something something in there that you guys would be really really excited to see But I think we'll give her some rest for now. Yep, Vixen's down in her little nest Her little denning area with maybe some new creatures you guys, you know, maybe some baby foxes in there um, <laughs> uh, All right, so let's go ahead and make some possible kiwi babies in here and I hear bad creatures. Um, there's also this egg too, so let's go ahead and grab that. And oh, you're so cute. All right, mango and citrus. We're going to see if there's going to be any more kiwis in your exhibit. So let's go ahead and throw you down. No, none in there. Nope. 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 <gasps> Hi! Hi, little kiwi. Oh my goodness. You are so adorable. And then two more. N nope. And nope. But at least we got one more adorable little kiwi. So we are going to need another kiwi name for this little guy. We currently have citrus and mango. So if you guys have a suggestion for what we should name this little guy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I think citrus has adopted the baby. I think citrus has adopted this little baby. And this is now her little baby. I think they're bonding. I think they bonded. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and name our ostriches now. We're going to name some ostriches. Uh, so let's go ahead and go past our little smoothies shack that we're going to be working on today, which I did a little bit more work on. And so far it's looking really, really nice. But let's go ahead and go over here to our little African zone area and name some of our ostriches. Ooh, and I wonder if there's going to be eggs in there too. We could possibly get some more ostriches. Birds are so awesome and they're little egg laying um, possibilities. Um, but here we are. Oh, yes, I do see some eggs. There we go. Here's an ostrich egg. And are you one of the unnamed ostriches? I think you are. There's three of them in here that do not have names right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and name this one Oasis. Um, that was a name that pe many people um, suggested. And then we're going to go ahead and name this little guy uh, Olive. There we go. Because I love you. Um, here is Ozzy. And here is no name. So we're going to go ahead and name this little guy Otter. Hi, Otter. And welcome to the zoo. And here is Olivia. So let's go ahead and see. Are there any more eggs that we can possibly make some babies out of? I think we got them all. 
So we have a total of two ostrich eggs, which I think we might go ahead and see if there's any babies in these. So let's go ahead and see. Um, none in that one and none in that one either. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll see. <laughs> but let's go ahead and eat some yummy, delicious spring salad. And now it is time to get to work and build up our little smoothie shack gonna make some smoothies uh, and these this smoothie shack is going to be for um, people who come and visit and they can go ahead and buy themselves a nice delicious smoothie uh, but I do have some different decorations that I want to use to decorate this area with and I also have these all right so I want to have a nice little counter space in the back so we're gonna go ahead and put these counters here these little kitchen counters and then in the middle I want to have some storage space, so we're going to go ahead and put those up there. And then I want to have some shelves, so let's go ahead and put these shelving units in, like so. And I do need a crafting table, so we're going to go ahead and put a crafting table in here. I'm not too sure where the best place would be. Maybe like down in the ground here? Go ahead and put a crafting table in there. Um, and that crafting table is something that we can use to make our smoothies. And then for our smoothies, I think we're going to go ahead and store them in this carpenter safe right here. And then I also have some blenders that I want to use for decoration, like so. And I also have this very amazing little fruit bowl that we can use. Awesome. We're going to make the best smoothie shack ever. And if you guys have a clever name for this smoothie shack, please let me know. It's in the middle of the, I guess, the, um the oceanic zone because we do have animals from um, Tasmania and from New Zealand um, over here and then our African zone is over there so if you guys have any suggestions that might be really cool for a smoothie stand please let me know and then I think we'll sell our smoothies for like one um, rosarium Let's see can I write on this though can I write on you how do I there we go <laughs> all right so smoothies smoothies um let's see let's make you nice and big like so or maybe I should move you up one let's go ahead and move you up uh, smoothies smoothies and make you a little bit bigger there we go and then we can say um, let's see I want to get one of these rose quartz that we can use um, inside of here so let's go ahead can we edit this there we go uh, let's put that in there and go ahead and make it a little bigger maybe there we go we can go down a little bit um let's see and then be right one rose quart oh uh, we're gonna have to make this smaller <laughs> we're gonna have to make this and there we go um one rose let's see how do i put the rose quartz in there there are two different words all right so one rose quartz per smoothie awesome so now if anyone comes over here they can go ahead and grab themselves a yummy and delicious smoothie uh let's go ahead can we make this bigger i don't think so can we make it go no we can't make it go down let's go ahead and put it right right about there and maybe make it a little bit smaller Move it down one. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. And let's see. Smoothies! One rose quartz per smoothie. Awesome! Alright, so now everybody knows how much they cost. So they can go ahead and just put like a rose quartz in here. If they want to go ahead and buy a smoothie. And we will also put the smoothies up in this chest too. So let's go ahead and make some of these smoothies. Uh, so in order to make a smoothie, all we need is some snowballs, some fruit, and a juicer. So we do have all those things. And I do want to put some fruit as, like, decorations. Or we could just put, like, oh, you know what? We'll just put the smoothies. Oh, actually, wait. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. All right, let's put a couple strawberries as decorations, actually. Hold on. We need to decorate properly. Let's go put a strawberry right there. And we just want to do one and put a strawberry right about there. And then we could just throw in some snowballs because we do have tons of snowballs. We can't, like, throw those around like so and then let's go ahead and put some pineapples um, on the shelves too there we go actually can we make smoothies out of pineapples that'd be pretty silly if we made like smoothies on the shelf but we can't even use them yeah we can't even use pineapples oh no i wonder what we can use uh pineapples for let's see we can make beet burgers mince pie 
um, pineapple upside down cake. We can make some fruit bait, some fruit crumble, pina colada. Ooh, we can make fruit salad, um, pina colada, coconut and pie. Ooh, well, this isn't that kind of smoothie shop, but <laughs> maybe in the future. All right, so no pineapple smoothies. All right, good to know. So let's go ahead and take this pineapple away. We don't need any of those, and there are coconuts. Let's go ahead and put like a coconut right about there. And then let's go ahead and get some more fruit that we have. Um, raspberries. I don't think I want to use all of these because I do. We're going to need these in the next episode. Some of these different berries. Oh, let's go ahead and grab these bananas. And let's go ahead and see. Let's go like this. Place a banana on the shelf like so. Oh, that looks really cool how the banana goes like that. And let's go ahead and place the blueberry right there and then we need our blackberry right about there and then a raspberry can go kind of like right here and awesome all right we're doing things all right let's let's go ahead and make some smoothies now so we need a juicer our fruit and our snowballs oh actually what, what can we do with that we can make blueberry juice awesome all right so that is another thing that we can make um but let's go ahead and make some smoothies oh my goodness we're gonna have so many smoothies guys we oh my goodness that looks so delicious guys i want smoothies in my life right now i want all the smoothies please please give me all the smoothies oh my goodness strawberry smoothies these look so yummy and so delicious we need more snowballs there we go and oh my goodness awesome okay okay uh, let's go ahead and grab some more fruit this is fun <laughs> let's make some limes some apples some pear um there's more strawberries in here too um i'll take a couple more we'll save a little bit more and do we have any more fruit uh, we're gonna have to go and get some more fruit i think um we will do that in the future or maybe we can even make like an orchard pretty soon just so we have a place where we can get tons and tons of fruit if we need to because you don't really have a place like that um, so let's go ahead and get some more snowballs and make some more strawberries, um, smoothies, and we're going to need, let's see, let's go ahead and grab these, there we go, and let's go back and make some more smoothies, so let's put that smoothie there, we can make some apple smoothies, put the juicer there, oh my goodness, that looks so yummy, so yummy, oh my goodness, yes, smoothie shop is the best idea ever, and then pear smoothies, there we go, apparently people like pear smoothies, uh-huh. Uh, and then yeah awesome so now we have a really good um start let's go ahead and make some lime smoothies oh i like the lime smoothie that looks really cool uh, let's go ahead and put some smoothies on the shelf just for decoration purposes and let's go ahead and place that like right there and we can put like some strawberry smoothies let's put one right there and then maybe even a little pear smoothie uh, right about there and then let's do a blackberry smoothie right about here Awesome! So now that we have some things on our shelf, um, some fruit and some snowballs and some smoothies, and now that we know how much our smoothies are going to cost, let's go ahead and place our smoothies down in here. And then anyone who plays on zoo crafting can kind of like, when they're wandering around here, say, ooh, smoothies, I'm hungry, and they can go over here and say, ooh, looks like it's one rose quartz per smoothie, and they can be like, well, I want eight smoothies, and they can put down their eight rose quartz and then grab you know eight smoothies and say ah oh, yes delicious so yummy and delicious and enjoy a wonderful day at the rosarium wildlife park with some delicious smoothies <laughs> um but yes i think in the last episode i did ask for some names so if you have some name suggestions for what we can name blueberry smoothies or blackberry raspberry pear apple strawberry or lime smoothies please let me know and maybe i can rename some of those to some fun names like apple pie a la mode smoothie of smoothness. I, I have no idea. <laughs> you guys come up with some really awesome names. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Zoo Crafting and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue on our adventures. Bye!